In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a 3D camera effect of the Reddit stories or YouTube scroll or any other footage. Make sure to watch till the end as I'll share some extra tips to make this effect even more interesting. First, you need to choose a video clip or a static image you want to turn into 3D. In my case, I'll use a Reddit style image. You can find editable template in my Discord channel, link in the description. Select your footage and nest it with right click and nest. I'll explain why we need this later. Now we need to apply an effect called Basic 3D. Go to the Effects tab. If you don't see it, click on Window Effects. Type Basic 3D in the search bar and drag it onto your footage. To speed things up throughout the entire video, I'll use a plugin that my friend and I created and it's called Sigma Effects. It helps apply effects faster. I'll just press Ctrl plus spacebar, type the effect name and hit Enter to apply it right away. And of course, you can find the link to this plugin in the description. Basic 3D has three options to play with. Swivel to rotate your footage, tilt to tilt it and distance to image to zoom in or out. Place the playhead at the start of your footage and adjust the settings as you like. For example, I'll do it like this. Click on the stopwatch to create keyframes. Move the playhead to the end and adjust the settings again. I'll do it this way. For the background, you can choose the same color as the footage or something different. Either way, it will look interesting. Let's see what we have so far. I could end this video right here, but let me show you some extra tips to sell the effect better. First, you can check the Show Specular Highlight box to make your footage look more plastic and play with how the light hits it. Second, you can go inside the nested sequence and use a mask to animate text appearing. With a rectangular mask, select the area where you want the text to show up first and use keyframes to animate it. And when you go back out of the nested sequence, you will see the text animation without breaking the main 3D animation of the footage. You can also go into the nest and add overlays like VHS effect, pixelated screen or particles or whatever you like without breaking the main sequence. And as a finishing touch, you can add effects like blur and chromatic aberration or both on top of the nested footage and use a mask to apply them only at the edges, just to give more depth to the image. Links to the editable Reddit template and Sigma FX plugin are in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you next time.